Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Harbor Freight Warrior six-piece stubby auger bit set. These are miniature ship augers. These are traditionally very long drill bits, usually 12 inches or 18 inch long drill bits for soft materials, specifically wood, for drilling larger, you know, from standard size or medium size to larger size holes. These types of bits stop around an inch and a half and then use different style bits for larger than that. And usually around a quarter inch is about as small as these little augers get. You get quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, five eighths, three quarter inch, and one inch. So six pieces of the standard ones. These auger bits are about four inches long. Uh, they advertise, and surprisingly enough, even on the packaging, works with both drills and impact drivers. And uh, the, I don't know how much impacting these will really take, but we'll give it a shot. I'll, I have my impact driver in my drill, so we'll do a quick test. One thing I was, or a couple things I was going to say is they are ground. The shanks are pretty decent. It's pretty obvious these are hardened steel. They do laser etch the sizes on them. The exterior grind actually looks pretty decent. The biggest criticism is this cutting edge that angle is actually pretty darn sloped or pretty steep it should be pointing backwards a bit more but you can always just use a dremel to sharpen that up and these are the type of bits where as that edge wears or if you hit a nail you can resharpen it a few times until you start running out of material where it doesn't quite pull itself to the wood the idea with this special threaded screw is that it's really tapered known as a beehive screw and that's to grab the wood and pull it through the wood at a controlled pace to help prevent these from wanting to get jammed up they really like to get bound up in wood Overall, they look pretty decent, and at four inches long, they really are compact. These things are nice to use with right angle drills. These are nicer to use than things like spade bits because they drill nicer holes and they tend to drill a bit straighter. Spade bits can and do tend to want to wander a little bit as they drill through. And this is what I really liked about these. I also liked the idea that they had quarter inch hex shanks, so they're less likely to slip and they're just easier to deal with. If I wanted to put, say, a quarter inch drive extension on one of them, then I could drill holes that were very deep. They don't have much space at the very top for relief, so if you were to use these short bits to drill deep hole, you would have to drill a little bit and then uh, reverse it out and clean out the chips because they would. there's not much space in there and they would quickly build up and bind up and I'm sure you would twist off the quarter inch shank. Let's take a quick look, see how good the sizing really is on these. You know, we're not going to use a five digit uh, mic on it, but we're just going to take some calipers and I've run in some Irwins that were just terrible. They were off by like 30, 40,000, something like that. They were just, now that's going to be a little bit tricky. Maybe if I do it kind of like It's actually kind of difficult. The spiral is steep enough to where I can't really get a very good measurement unless I just come across the top. There's actually a big old metal burr right there too. Come on now. There we go. 0.998 on the hat on the one inch, on the three quarter inch. If we just come across like this. We're getting 0.747, so they appear to be just a touch small, which is actually a good thing because wood cutting bits tend to over drill uh, just a bit, and so they should actually make some pretty decent holes. So anyway, we're going to go over and we'll take a look. We'll see how it does with both with impact drivers, and we'll do some uh, 2,000 RPM drilling with a drill. Oh. Okay, I have the half inch bit and the one inch bit. I'm going to give the one inch bit just a, a run in the regular old drill motor. These will be a bigger hole, it'll be easier to see how it finishes. And I have the half inch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this with the impact, and then I'm going to do the same thing again with the drill just to show the performance difference. Okay, I've got the one inch bit in here, and I'm actually going to run this at 1200 RPM because it's a much more appropriate speed than, say, 2000. And it's just a bit more honest of a test. Anyway, these things are pretty decent. All right, let's take a look at the one incher. You can see it bogging down. That was pretty quick, too. Not too bad. 
as you can see, this is the real issue with these is because if you they go, especially even at 1200 RPM, they just go so fast. And why I mean packing the chips, they aren't just a little bit packed. They, these wood chips are just jammed in there and I just barely went below the surface. It's actually really surprising how jammed up it is. So you really do need to be aware of that. Here's a closer look at our hole. As you can see, you can actually make reasonably flat bottom holes with these type of ship augers. There, of course, be the divot from where it was, but as soon as you stop drilling and back it out, it's actually reasonably flat. There's sometimes a little burr like there is in the bottom of this, and you just can get that out with a, you know, just with a wood chisel. But we can actually see the surface is surprisingly not so bad. And the chips that it's creating, you know, it was pretty blunt so it does need some sharpening but overall it's actually decent performance actually since that drilled so nicely at the one inch I'm just going to use the one inch in the impact driver and you can get an idea of how much impacting it takes and whether or not you get a different finish as I get more into drill bit reviews and I haven't done a lot of like wood bit reviews because I knew I absolutely needed a block of wood to actually demonstrate this on this is a piece of 12 by 12 beam came out of a 300 year old, old old growth tree pretty big block of wood that I'm just gonna swish cheese so I will be getting more into spade bit reviews ship augers self feed bits all that kind of stuff now that I have a big block of wood to do it with let's see how this one inch does with this uh, DeWalt DCF887 impact driver let's see how long it takes to get an equivalent hole we're at max power here Once again, it just jams. I mean, those wood chips, you almost need a screwdriver to get out of there. Let's clean this up here. A couple things to notice here. I've noticed this when using impact drivers versus uh, drills, using a variety of wood bits and extent. It's true for spade bits. It's true for Irwin speed bores, and it's true for these ship augers. For some reason, when you're using the impact where it is short, extremely fast because remember when the impact is hitting it's just trying to accelerate this thing to not a million miles an hour but super fast and so it just goes jam super fast quick cuts where this is just a consistent rpm grinding it out the difference is is for some reason that nature of the impulse action of the impact makes tighter holes and it's a little secret drill hole use the same wood bit use an impact driver to drill the hole and it will be a tighter hole here's the first hole where we use the drill and we can see if it's in, it's a nice tight hole. These are actually decent augers, but there's a, just still a bit of wobble in there, just like that. If we use the hole where the impact driver drilled, it's like almost right there. It's like jammed. We can see that that hole is a lot tighter. Let me uh, pull off the camera and so you can get a closer look at those holes. Here we are, and let me zoom in. If we can get the camera to. Have some decent level of focus. Come on now. You can see that, interestingly enough, in this hole, there's, see these little fibers? That's more tearing that's occurring. Where in this hole, right at the top, there's a little bit of tearing. But otherwise, in the rest of the hole, it's actually really smooth. And so that's also the effect, at least in this case with these bits, is the impact driver hole is also not only tighter, has a better finish so the more you know anyway that was the conclusion of my review of these Harbor Freight uh, four inch long stubby ship augers they are pretty useful you have to be careful in going into deeper depths because you really gotta reverse them and clear out the chips going through like two by fours these things are gonna be great they're gonna make nice holes and they're super fast and it's really hard to find these short ones so coupled with a right angle drill you'll be able to get through between studs and joists and actually drill nice holes so and these things are relatively cheap so anyway i really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do until next time caddis maximus out